Hi everybody, it's me, Nancy, with Nancy's Hooked on Crochet. How y'all doing? So, it was my birthday recently, so I, one of my sons gave me this uh, yarn swift I'm going to show you. It's one that you could put on your table without having to clamp it to your table, because I don't really have a really good table, because my husband takes over the table, and it would be a job for me to, like, empty it, but I could sit it on the bed. <laughs> so... And it, the box looked a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be, but I'm going to try to wind up uh, one of these hanks of yarn that I bought at the uh, Hobby Lobby. So I figured I'd show you. I'll tell you what I think. So these are the yarn hanks that I have. Oops, this one's falling out. I don't know, one of them I have, I thought I got four of each. First I bought three, then I bought another one of each. And then I think I ended up with one of each, uh, one extra one of one of them, and I don't see it. It might be in the closet somewhere. Anyway, so I picked out one of these because they're real pretty. I don't know what I'm going to make with it yet. I'm, I'm going to show you them. I picked out one of these. I don't know. It was on clearance. Originally $14.99, now $3.74. Authentic hair dyed. I think it's wool, though. I mean, it's really lightweight. It says lilac luster. So I really like this color. I'm sure, not sure what I'm going to make with it. I just want to cake one up. And it came with, uh, ah, it says to use a three millimeter crochet hook. And it's 3.5 ounces, 400 yards, or 365 meters. Hand dyed. Okay. It says it was made in India. One second. Okay, so this Swift came in a pretty big box, bigger than I expected. See? And basically, it was so easy to put together. And it, you know, it doesn't take up a lot of room, really. It's a skinny box. You could stick it somewhere in a corner. Here's the directions also. So I had to guess, kind of, he gave you inches, how, like, how many inches this would be with where you'd put the peg. So it pretty much looks like I picked the right spot. <laughs> so this was the yarn I bought at Hobby Lobby that I liked. You know, I bought a few different versions, so it's Superwash Merino wool. And I think it's a number, hey, something just fell. I can't see. I think it's fingering weight, maybe. Number one. I haven't worked with number one too much. Anyway, I'm going to set it up with my uh, ball winder. Because I had the ball winder. I was using it for like when I finished a hank. Anyway, and I, it was like $30. And, you know, my son, I sent my son the link to the Amazon, my daughter in law, the link to Amazon where it was and I decided to go with this one because I can't ever get a hold of that table this my my husband and my grandson take up the table and they leave stuff there and we're we're a little messy <laughs> with the table I give up on that okay I'm gonna come back in a yes, few minutes so you gotta I guess you gotta cut these little strings I'm not even sure where the beginning of this is so I gotta figure that out I'm not sure. So basically, I'm just not ready. Well, there's something over here. I'm no expert on this. This might be the beginning. I mean, there's like one on each spot. It just happens it almost landed in the middle. All right, I'm going to untie them and see, and I'll, be, I'll come back. So I started to do it. At first it was getting stuck. I kind of have to help it along with this. Um, I think it would help if my ball winder was uh, more level with the, with the swift. You know, it's a little lower. I don't have to like... Oy. Kind of holding up the, the yarn. Yep, I'm 
my mind mess. Maybe I'll figure out a better setup next time. We'll see how long this takes. I might have to speed up this video. Ugh. But it's winding. I don't want to stop. So, do you have a Swift and a ball winder? I bring my first hank from Joe at Fiber Fluzy Crafts. Otherwise, these are the first actual, like, hank-type yarns that I have purchased. And I'll show you the cake when it's done. I'm getting a workout. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna... I'd like to pause this, but I'm afraid to make it stop. So when I make the video, I may, uh, cut out some of it. So tell me if you have a Swift, you have Hanks. Because at first I was buying all my yarn at, like, Walmart, or I was getting it in the beginning at, like, AC Moore. So, you know, this was from Hobby Lobby. Still going, the cake's starting to grow. You can't see it from where I'm sitting. Uh, anyway, so I started working on a baby hat. Ooh, so I'm gonna have a new grandbaby again. It's getting close to the end, I think. My cake is getting bigger. those four little strings. I hope I didn't cut the wrong one. It seems like it's okay. I'm only going to kick up one for now. I'm not even sure if I'm going to start anything with it immediately. But this is good. It isn't jumping anywhere. I was worried it was going to, if you put it on a table, it might slide and take off. Oop. It finished. Well, here now it's done. There's the cake. It finished. So... Looks a little like the yarn I won from Jill, <laughs> the colors. Anyway, it's pretty and everything. It's just, I don't like that I have to kick it. <laughs> I probably prefer to get yarn that's not in a hank, but the hank yarns look so pretty. Anyway, I haven't decided. I'd like, I have like four of these and they have like 400 yards each. Um, one second. I have like four of these uh, hanks, so I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to make. I'm hoping, I kind of like to make a top. I could make a shawl, but how many shawls do you need? I mean, there is one shawl I was interested in making, but I don't know if I want to use this yarn for that shawl. So I haven't decided yet. Any suggestions? I'll take suggestions. Doesn't mean I'll do it. <laughs> all right. Well, now all I have to do is take that apart and it just, you know, pops right apart. I'll stick it back in the box and then I'll I just might have to put like a rubber band around the box to keep it closed. So it was easy to take out and put together. So, you know, it's bigger than I expected, but it worked really easy. As you see, it was the first time I used it. I didn't even really need the directions to put it together. That's all. All right. This is today's video. I hope you liked it. <laughs> Bye.